Yeah, everyone's got the test strip and then the two blocks. So one block will be your background, that will be your more abstract textural um, block. And then if you've got a more definite image that you'd like to carve or trace on and carve out of lino, then, I mean, you can do whatever you want. You could do two textural blocks if you want. We can layer them or you can just do shapes or just depends what kind of ideas or images you have. So yeah, we'll, we'll aim to do the background today. So that's all the um, sort of more abstract, you know, like this man, Steve, he's done layers of, um, you know, different textures and I'll show everyone how to do things like that. But yeah, we can also print these blocks. We can print the top of them or we can print underneath. We can print the relief or the intaglio. So if you're interested in holograph, that can kind of, you know, cross over into this. We'll just, we'll see how everyone's blocks turn out and we'll proof them and we can do a relief and an intaglio and see which one you think will work better. So yeah, it is, there's a lot of experimentation mm. also. There will be. There more. will be. <laughs> Yeah, which is good. So we're going to do some testing on this first. Yeah, well everyone can have a go of, you know, using the different resists and then we can etch that test block or, or we can just do one group test block. That's another option. It just, or we can do both. So it's just up to, yeah, what everyone wants to do. These are not the stencils I use, but they're just examples. So you can cut out any shapes. If you wanted to get really intricate and do maybe proof way, <laughs> basically. Yeah. Yeah, that, that worked really well. But this background, I mean, that's just what the acid decided. You coat some of the lino and you resist the acid and that's where it will not eat away and you'll get those two different tones. So you get your, your light and your dark. They were just, I literally just blobbed that on top and then it spread out. So I got the spoon and the, the paste and just dripped it. Yeah, so that's, that's the blob technique. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah um, I do too and I love the way that came. Yeah, like you can get some nice shapes happening if you, if, if you, once you start over printing, you know, yeah. especially if you do, you know, a couple of different colours or like a transparent layer, you could get some nice effects straight from the can. Mm. Um, it takes a little bit of control, like if you spray it too hard, it will just, it will spray all over the block. You could print, you could have one block for that back mountain part and you could ink that up in that colour and you could cut up the next section and we could just sort of piece it together. Yeah, that's all this is, it's Drano essentially. So it, it's designed to go down the sink. You have to add these crystals to the water. You never pour the water into the container. So the measurement I've been using is half a cup um, cold water and that just goes into, into a jar. You do it one by one, so we're going to add one and you need to use a plastic spoon, don't use a metal spoon. So use a wooden spoon and just mix that around. You, you can't add another teaspoon until this first one is mixed in. You know, how defined you want it. All right, so we'll stop at four. Sounds like about the same, but doesn't it like? A little bit at a time, because it gets quite, um. yeah, it has to dissolve. That's the flag, isn't it? Yep. Sort of thing. Yeah, it's just like powder. Oh. It's called cell mix paste powder. But it, yeah, you just go little by little, and it'll oh, start. Just, just one. Yep. Yeah, and that's starting to thicken up a little bit. It has to set, so we'll leave it for about ten minutes. And that's called wallpaper. Yeah, wall. Yeah. It's just like an adhesive um, powder. Yeah, yeah. See how it's turning brown? Yeah. That means it's starting to etch. So it's starting to react to with that lino. To isn't it? Yeah, it, like it's kind no of... No one said it's going control. to spread, but it, mine didn't spread really, did it? Chris? No, your blobs are relatively light. Mm. Clag and wallpaper flakes yeah. and uh, bit, bitumen. Space. You can pop it on that one if you want. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to get as much off as possible. And this is designed to go down the drain, this stuff. Because this 
And at this point, this is where I'll probably give it a spray with the vinegar, just because it's still brown, so it's still corrosive. So just give it a good spray and it'll start to neutralise it a bit. Yep. So it's going to make this paste, and that's because it's that's the lino that's been eaten away. So when it's the paste is the parts that have been corroded and you can see like it's already started it's eaten in all of there so it's definitely worked so well done and you'll start to be able to see where your two tones are happening so yeah, you just got to get in there and scrub it it is a little bit um, time consuming but you want to get all of the brown out before you can go and print it